Welcome to the Big Biz Show, featuring insight, analysis, and a lot of stuff that's none of your business. Uh, hold on. This is the Big Biz Show. I think it is their business. Making the markets work for you. Here's the man with the plan, Sully. the handiwork of our good friend A. P. Silverstein <laughs> from Imagine I R A R. Big part. There he is. Guys, so look at this big happy face there. You haven't seen him forever. Hey, P. O. R. Your brother, good to see you, man. I gotta tell you. Okay, listen. When you first, when we first met a couple years ago, I think it was 2021. Right. Uh, um, your stuff was really good. It was good. It is now undiscernible. In fact, Jared, do you, Jared, Jared are you, do you have another one back there that we can see? Uh, yeah, 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 actually, Mike, I, I think, did. got stopped in the lobby by somebody. Oh, okay, I did. It was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was 83. Some viewer here. I hear you're a super fan. I'd just like to say thank you very much for the amazing support. It means the world to me. I hope to see you at my next fight. But until then, come take a picture of me. <laughs> Tyson Fury. Yeah. Okay. Have you, by the way, have you seen the Tyson Fury uh, Netflix special or or, or uh, Apple TV or something? I can't remember what it was. Uh, no. Oh, there's oh, Home with the Furies. Oh my God! <laughs> it I'm is in. the greatest reality TV show in the history of mankind. First of all, he's retired, <laughs> and he doesn't know what to do with himself. <laughs> Grab the Tyson other. Fury. Grab the other one next. This is fantastic. So so uh, so AP. Um, and we, I know we've got, I got one or two more here I want to show later in the program. So first of all, let's talk about what you guys do because you've been, been on for a while. I want to have our audience, and we've got some new audience members as well anyway. Go top down what Imagine AR does. Absolutely. And um, welcome and glad to see you in 2023. So Imagine AR delivers what's called augmented reality, a digital overlay through a mobile phone to allow you to interact and enjoy these kind of interactions wherever you are in the world. Everyone remembers when Pokemon Go was big in 2016, but we've taken it to the next level. So using a mobile phone, you can be in a specific location, like in your studio and have Ric Flair appear. You can have mascots like we did with Baltimore Ravens where their mascot appears in your house. You can take pictures and videos with them and instantly share them in TikTok and Instagram. So, so it really is a fun, interactive, new way to engage people around the world. So, and you, I remember when you first started, we had soccer teams yeah. and we had wrestling and you yeah. just nailed your first NFL team. Am I, is that accurate? Last season, we, uh, we launched with the Baltimore Ravens. It was wow. enormously successful. And actually this year, they're going to have major programs with us in terms of augmented reality for the fans, not only in North America, but they're also traveling to London. Uh, and you'll have holograms, real lifelike looking ones of some of their very special players, including the highest paid quarterback in the history of the NFL, Lamar. And you'll be able to take pictures and videos with them and share them instantly in social media as well. And we had one major feature this year is they're going to do their own scavenger hunts. So you can have a treasure hunt around the city, whether it's in stadium or in Baltimore, looking around for players and different items tied to the Ravens. AP, how does the business model work? So we work with teams in a number of different ways. One is we do an annual license fee where they pay for our tech. And what's important, Mike, what you're asking, is they want to engage fans in their app. They don't want them to go to social media or else. So we interact directly with the app of a team and then allows them to provide these engagers. So it's an annual license fee. We've done revenue shares as well. 
for specific client opportunities that have a significant upside. So we work in both ways, but what we like to do is work with clients and let them self-publish. They can create their own AR activations in minutes anywhere in the world for fans to engage with, and it's the only platform in the world that'll allow anyone to do it like this and immediately deliver these kind of sponsored engagements and drive revenue. Do you work solely with the Ravens, or do you also have to jump through the NFL marketing hoops as well? We actually have been uh, talking to a number of organizations in different leagues. You work with specific teams and their digital uh, teams. So if you look at NFL, NBA, NHL, they have their own digital managers who you interact with as well as soccer teams. When you look at MLB or baseball, you really have to look at the overall league level. So in terms of the aggressiveness that's out there, the NFL and the NBA are certainly at the top and the NHL is marching up very quickly to provide unique engagement for fans. And they're looking for new sponsored engagements, new ways to drive new revenue with fans and the consumers, not only in their local geographic territory, but certainly around the world. Uh, you know, AP, it's, it's interesting for me when you think in terms of, of how the NCAA has uh, suddenly opened the door for NIL, name, yes. image, and likeness. H how does that open up your business, you know, now your NFL, now we've got college fans. I mean, and look, the good news about the college fans is that's a recyclable thing every four years or every two years or whatever. Exactly. Talk about, I mean, that's a huge, if you choose to head in that direction. Are you guys thinking in yeah, terms of that? Yeah, and matter of fact, funny you mentioned that. Last year we worked with Learfield and Sidearm Sports. They specialize in working with over 1,500 colleges around North America, probably the biggest college uh, content uh, tech company in the world. And we did the college football playoffs where you can have a virtual trophy celebration last January with the winners. And it went over really well. We're currently in discussions with them as well. I can't go any further than that discussion, but certainly bringing this type of tech to teams to drive their mascots and name image likeness called NIL gives you an opportunity to drive revenue on whether it's the fame day platform or direct with athletes as well. So it is a perfect space. And as you mentioned, so it's not only just having the new college people, but the boosters are very loyal. I mean, look at the University of Alabama, look at Texas A&M, look at those different universities. Sure. And the boosters just go on and on right. and are really dedicated to support their team and their athletes. Agreed. AP, and on top of that, you work with McCormick Spices as well, correct? Yeah. That's a jump. Go football, no, but, go spices. No, but this is, this is why I like about this because, because look, th this will tell you that this is an enterprise-wide solution. Mm -hmm. in a, I mean, look, at, I'm thinking rock and roll bands. I'm thinking Netflix stars. I'm thinking, you know, I mean, the, the, the sky's the limit. We're it's talking, applicable to everything. That's exactly right. So right. let's talk about the McCormick thing. How, how does that work and how are they making use of that? Well, what they did in their campaign is they actually took their social media spokesperson and brought them into the app so that you can interact with the hologram, cook with, and enjoy their specific social media person who came out with their own brand of spices and roll it out. We also did Grubhub in the past, which you're aware of when we last spoke, which is the ability to watch it. It was a live concert with Making the Stallion, some other superstars and music. And as you're watching the live stream concert online, you could point your phone at the screen and get coupons for Grubhub food delivery, enter into meet and greets and do sweepstakes. So it really allows a tremendous amount of engagement very quickly on mobile phones, no matter whether it's consumer, it's education, it's sports, it's entertainment, and not only limited geographically North America, but we also deliver around the world. Well, AP, real quickly, uh, because I know Mike has a question, but what's interesting to me is, remember Facebook advertising which was really our first toe dipping into social media or digital advertising, right? Mm -hmm. and first of all, it was, hey, you gotta use a picture. Gotta use a picture. Then it was, gotta use a video, right? This is changing the face. Augmented reality is changing the face of advertising as evidenced by the McCormick uh, Spices deal. That's a $6 billion company, by the way. And, right. and you're, they're using influencers uh, inside their emails in terms of AR. Isn't that, and that that's the that's the trick, right? That, that, is, is yeah, that, they're going into that, into their app to drive people to go to the app and get yeah, something Yeah, the Flavor new. Maker app or whatever it's called, right? Exactly. Yeah. So as we continue to grow, you're going to see a shift also from going to mobile phones, and I don't know if you're going to touch on a base because you're really on top of this, is using headsets and using what's called spatial computing, the ability to put on a special headset like Apple announced and actually interact with the environment all around you in your room, in your living room, yeah. sit there and have things come and go directly in your space and have virtual and physical worlds seamlessly integrate. Back to that NIL uh, and, and the mechanics of, let's say, uh, a Ric Flair. What are the mechanics of that, of being able to use Or a Tyson name? Fury. I mean, Tyson I, Fury, anybody. Like what's step, what is step one? Uh, that, that's a great question. 
So what you, what we do with the athletes, when we look at Tyson Fury, we have stories of our group that went to videotape him as well. So you, you get to enjoy Netflix, and they saw it up front and personal. So in that specific case, is we use basic standard green screen technology, the ability to videotape in green screen, the athlete, uh, the individual, the social media star, doing a number of different greetings. Our platform takes that and instantly delivers, in this case, on the Fame Days platform, that athlete either offering a happy birthday or different greetings, uh, gender reveal, and allow you to take that and send it to anyone in the house within 30 seconds or less, it's delivered. So people can enjoy and interact with their favorite athlete or superstar. And that's where NIL is going to be a big opportunity, we feel, as you look at the NCAA coming in, looking for more division, right, of third party and individuals of how they support the athletes. This platform is a great independent way for that to happen. And also using our AR technology to deliver these individuals or coaches. Coach Saban from Alabama, imagine into every booster's home to talk about upcoming games. Hey, AP, AP I got about 30 seconds left here. Um, are we going to get to the point where, where, where Imagine AR is doing holograms in 20 years? I mean, is, is that the next generation of this, or is that way I too I think far it's going to be a lot sooner, and it'll be Do holograms really? oh with, and it's going to be using AI. So AI, everyone got very popular. I know, again, if you're familiar with ChatGPT, which sure. became very popular with high school students and college students because they didn't have to write their own essays anymore. They had ChatGPT. <laughs> Think of AI as your concierge oh, AR. We, so oh, we've used chat GPT here, haven't we, Devin? <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, Imagine AR is a, yep. uh, is a small spice company. Hey, listen, AP, uh, um, I can't, I'm so happy that you're back with us. Can't wait to have you on, 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 on a regular basis, and, and it's, it's pretty remarkable. Jared says he has one more surprise for us. AP, Silverstein, Imagine AR, IPNFF is their stock symbol. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, is that supposed to be me? <laughs> oh, thank you.